Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Tech Extremist. Welcome to Speed Testing. All right, we are near downtown Phoenix in a Phoenix neighborhood. As you can see there, that is where we are at. And as you can see there, just showing you the difference between the S21s and the iPhones. This is, this is an iPhone 12 Pro. As you can see, it is just a better four millimeter wave period. All right, it is just simply a better phone. Oops, for a millimeter wave. For everything else, I would say the S21 uh, is better, but for a millimeter wave, I would say the iPhone 12 Pro is better in terms of reception anyway. Not talking about iOS versus Android, na 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 da da. That's not what we're discussing here. But check it out. I mean, when it works, it works, like I told you guys before. I did pick up the signal from a block away going in that direction going westward so it's definitely definitely robust at least on the iPhone not so much on the S21 so this is a good comparison here in terms of reception and I'll go ahead and run the S21 as well and I'll go ahead and test the other carriers but there you go 3540 down 54 up 7 millisecond ping 0.85 millisecond jitter on the iphone 12 pro excellent performance there from millimeter wave but again only on the iphone 12 so if you're looking for millimeter wave performance you might want to get an iphone over an s21 or an s21 ultra for that matter it's not just the s21 the s21 ultra suffers from the same uh, issue as the S21. All right, so there's AT&T. Very good performance there. Let's go ahead and see what they're running. Band 12, 10 megahertz. N2, 20 megahertz. Band 66, 10 megahertz. Band 30, 10 megahertz. Band 66, 10 megahertz. Delivering nice performance at 96.2 down. 37 millisecond ping, 10 millisecond jitter. And a five megabit per second upload. All right, and then we got Verizon without millimeter wave at 49.8 down, 11.4 up, 28 millisecond ping, five millisecond jitter, and check out T-Mobile. No millimeter wave needed. They got excellent mid-band here, 488 down, 17.1 up, 18 millisecond ping, three millisecond jitter. Let's go ahead and see what they are running, and let's go ahead and see what Verizon is running for that matter. All right, they have the... Uh, 13 uh, band 13 10 megahertz uh, band 2 10 megahertz AWS at 15 megahertz and AWS which is band 66 at 10 megahertz and then of course the reason why T-Mobile performs so nicely is because they got that band 2 15 megahertz and then they have N41 at 100 megahertz and band 66 at 5 megahertz all right so there you go delivering that excellent performance you know uh, Verizon not so much on LTE, but not bad. It's still very usable. And then AT&T, pretty good performance there at 96.2 down, 5.06 up with that 37 millisecond ping, 10 millisecond jitter. I'll go ahead and read them out again, just in case. I didn't uh, initially, 37.2 down, 6.45 up, 38 millisecond ping, 3 millisecond jitter on Verizon and T-Mobile dominating at 494 down 8.76 up 17 millisecond ping one millisecond jitter and one last test before i let you guys go all right that is gonna be ultra wideband on the same spot as the s21 a bit of a drop in performance but i mean crazy speeds still showing you that robust iphone 12 millimeter wave performance in comparison to the S21. So 2003 down, six millisecond ping, 2.8 millisecond jitter. And it looks like it's gonna be about a much better upload too than the uh, S21, 48.6 upload. But anyway, I really appreciate y'all watching. Hit like, subscribe, comment. Make sure you hit that ring notification bell. You all have a